another story for you. This one's kind of a silly one. It's um, similar to Dr. Seuss book, but it isn't written by him. And it's called, I'll Teach My Dog 100 Words. Here's the dog with his glasses on. <laughs> it's written by Michael Frith. And it's illustrated by P.D. Eastman. He's the man that wrote and illustrated the famous book, Go Dogs Go, which is one of my favorites and a favorite of many people from years ago. Okay, here's our book. I'll teach my dog 100 words. And that's what the first page says. I'll teach my dog 100 words. Okay, the dog is listening and ready and eager to learn. The first six words I'll teach my pup are dig a hole, there he is, digging the hole, and fill it up. Oh, he's putting the dirt back in. I always just see the, the person teaching on the side with his hand sticking out or there his clipboard where he's writing things down. But that's his word, dig a hole, fill, whoops, fill, <laughs> let me start over. Dig a hole, fill it up. Six words. Now, I'm not going to show you the fingers every time because we're going to get up to 100 words. But you see how he's counting with each word, okay? Then <clears throat> I'll teach him, you can see, walk and run. And then catch a ball. Now that makes... Now, now that makes ten. <laughs> ten words. And Mr. Sh Mr. Smith, who lives next door, here he is, will say, that's great. Can you teach him more? And then I'll teach him bark and beg. Oh, here's the bark and here's the beg. He's like begging for ice cream. And wag your tail and shake a leg. He's shaking his leg. <laughs> See all those pictures? And wash your ears and wash your toes. <laughs> See what he's doing up here? Taking a little bath himself. And scratch your head and blow your nose. <laughs> That's what he's doing. And then Mr. Smith, there he is again. He's talking to Mrs. Miss Brown. Then Mr. Smith will tell Miss Brown, Hey, this is the smartest dog in town. Hmm. I won't stop there. No, not at all. I'll teach him big and I'll teach him small. Big, there's the big elephant, and small's a little what? Mouse. Squeak. I'll teach him fat and thin and short and tall. Here's a big giraffe. Nice and tall, right? And I'll teach him dark, lights off, and light. He pulled the chain to turn the light on. And day with the sun shining, and night with the moon out. And what does a dog like to do at night sometimes? They say dogs like to howl at the moon. Oh! And then Miss Brown will call Miss May. There she is. Miss Brown's calling Miss May. Hey, she says, come over right away. This dog is learning chase the cat and climb the tree and things like that. He's climbing the tree and he's chasing the cat. And there's Mr. Smith watching. I think that's him. And then we will give them more to see. Eat your food and follow me. So eat your food and follow me. He's like signaling with his fingers. Come this way. See? Wow. We're up to 43. 43 words. And then I'll teach them some color words. Here we go. Red, blue, and green. Look at that. The smartest dog we've ever seen, they all three say, the three people we've been looking at. That makes 49, I think. 
oh, excuse me, I forgot this part. And then I'll teach him orange, purple, pink. That makes 49, I think. I think pink and pink rhyme, don't they? And then Miss May will call Mayor Mirror. <laughs> She'll call, please, hurry over here. There she is calling out to the mayor. The mayor is like someone that's in charge of a town or a city. She kind of helps with the rules and making sure people are safe and, and things like that. And then Mr. Mirror, the mayor, uh, and, oh, and then for Mr. Mirror, the mayor, I'll teach my dog, now paint the chair. Now, Mr. Mirror is supposed to be an important guy, so they gave him a top hat. In the old days, he would have worn one. But he's painting the chair. He's got yellow paint it with the brush, and he's got a spray can with pink paint. So paint the chair is some more words. Paint the road from here to there. Boy, that's a lot of painting. He's using the yellow paint for that. He's going to paint the road. Whoa! That would be a lot of paint to paint all the way to that sign, wouldn't it? And paint Uncle Abner's underwear. <laughs> but have a care. Don't paint the mayor. <laughs> Look at that. He's, this is long, what they call long underwear. Men used to wear that in the old days under their clothes. So long before uh, I was born. Now, if somebody wears that, it's more for if it's really cold outside, but not too common. But here he is spraying the underwear that's hanging on the clothesline. <laughs> then Mr. Mirror, the mayor, that's kind of hard to say, isn't it? Mr. Mirror, the mayor will say, I'll make today a holiday, and everyone will come to see my amazing dog and me. So here he is making an announcement to the crowd. I'm gonna make today a holiday, and here comes the dog. What's the dog doing? Can you see what he's doing now? He's pretty tricky. And more words. We'll show them skate. Here's his skates. And kick the stone. And jump the fishbowl and bring the bone. Oh my goodness, he's jumping right over the fishbowl. And what does he have? A bone in his mouth. And how about this? Chew the boot and hold the phone. And then they have an old-fashioned phone like we used to have when I was little. So everything he teaches them, all the words, he shows them how to do it too. This dog's pretty amazing at this point. Cut the grass and shine my shoe. Look at that. Now there's an old-fashioned lawnmower like my dad used to have, but he's learned how to sh cut the grass. And he's got a nice towel and maybe some polish, and he's shining somebody's shoe. And then he says, what's he doing there? Can you see? He's got a comb and a mirror. Comb your hair. <laughs> And clean the zoo. Wow, that's a big job. A big zoo full of animals, and he's sweeping away and cleaning. And now, what is he doing over here? Brush the bear. So the bear's just sitting there letting him brush him off. Kind of interesting. And what's this guy? He's adding up all the words now. He says, that's 82, meaning 82 words he's taught him. But that's not all my dog will do. He'll tickle the pig. Oh, a little feather. He's going to tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> and he'll kiss the goose. The goose is like, huh? What's going on here? <laughs> and he'll feed the mouse. Wow, that mouse is excited. Look at all that food he's bringing to him. And what's he doing there? And he'll mop the moose. <laughs> he's going to mop and he's going to clean off the moose. I told you this book is a little silly, didn't I? He'll, he'll toot a bugle. Dee, 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 dee. There he is with the bugle. Up here at the top. And he'll beat a drum. Doop. You know how that goes. And he'll stand on Uncle Abner's thumb. Wow, that is pretty tricky. To stand on someone's thumb. And then I'll teach him to sing with the birds. There's the bird singing and he's... there that makes what's this number 100 words wow 
My dog will learn those hundred words and how my friends will cheer. I'll teach my dog those hundred words. Oh, hmm. I think I'll start next year, he says. Next year. I'm tired. That's a lot of work to teach them all of that. And it just shows a typical dog resting, that same doggy resting by the tree and his friend resting by the tree. You never do see his face, do you? Just his legs and arms. <laughs> but I think he's a boy that wants you to meet his dog and wants to tell you about all the words that he could teach him. But maybe another time, not right now. <laughs> and maybe he'll do one at a time. And I'm sure some of those things the dog will know how to do itself. You think? Like bark? Uh, maybe howl at the moon sometimes? Um, you know, some of those earlier ones. Digging a hole. Dogs know how to do that. That's something they, they were born knowing how to do. But then some can catch a ball in their teeth. Oops. <laughs> some can catch a ball in their teeth. Some can beg, though. Uh, uh, if they have some food, they might sit up and beg. Some of those things are pretty normal. But standing on a thumb, playing a horn, scrubbing themselves in the bathtub, well, maybe not, but you know what? It's fun to think about silly things, isn't it? Well, that's it. That was I'll Teach My Dog 100 Words, and that's the end. See you later.